I'd like to welcome everyone back to the 22nd annual Light Up the Holiday Parade and Festival in Joliet. And it is my pleasure to, to announce Bob Overkirk, Mayor Bob Overkirk, for the 22nd annual parade. Hey, good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming out. 22 years, the day after Thanksgiving, we get out here for the parade. It's a great annual event. It's great to see all the people in downtown Joliet. I do want to acknowledge we got some people from the city council that are here. Councilman Pat Mudrin, Councilman Mike Turk, Councilman Don Dickinson, Councilman Larry Hug, and Councilwoman Jane Corbin is here. So thanks everyone for coming out. I do want to thank University of St. Francis. They've been the sponsor of this event for 14 years. They're here with their mascot, and Dr. Uh, Dr. Arvid Johnson's also here. So if you can give him a hand, he wants to uh, say a few words tonight. Thank you, Mayor Oderkirk, and on behalf of the University of St. Francis, we're proud to help Joliet light up the holidays each and every year, along with our Grand Marshal, Bernie St. Bernard. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Joliet. Thank you. All right, so we're ready to get this started. We got Caden Evans. He's a three-year-old. He's going to flip the switch to light the tree and start the parade. So let's do a countdown. Caden, you ready? All right, five. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Welcome to the 2020 Light Up the Holidays Parade in downtown Joliet, sponsored by the University of St. Francis, presented by the Joliet City Center Partnership. And of course, the fireworks we just saw is sponsored by First Secure Bank, and there'll be a lot more coming later in the parade. Thanks to the Bill Black family for that beautiful Christmas tree. And our broadcast team this year, by the way, happens to be none other than Lisa Lass from Will County Children's Efficacy Center and Don Fisher with the University of St. Francis. And thank you to Rendell's Collision Center for our stage here tonight. And so before we begin anything, we want to thank a few people, but before we do that, Don Fisher, this is how many years you've been doing this now? Uh, this is the 22nd year and um, it gets bigger and better every year. I think this year's crowd probably is one of the largest we've had in the 22 years. and. Uh, I hope the parade was just as great as it's been every year, and uh, let's have a fun night. Absolutely. Lisa, tell us just a little bit about yourself and about that great organization that you head up. Well, I'm really proud to be here, and what a great-looking crowd out here. Yay, Give glad to have you. <laughs> I'm happy to say that I work for Will County State's Attorney Jim Glasgow, who started the Child Advocacy Center, and we provide hope, healing, and justice for children who have experienced abuse. Uh, and this is my second year to team up with the illustrious men here. So thank you very much for having me. And Lisa did not know in advance that we are gonna have one of the nicest, mildest, it's beautiful parades, festival in, in, my, in my experience. We had one year where it was 70, I think. Yeah, the first year, Richard, uh, was 70, 70, 72 degrees and um, we tell this story every year. We didn't know if anybody was going to come to the parade. It was the first time having a night parade in downtown Joliet. And um, there was a crowd very similar, if not about the same, as tonight's crowd. And um, it's been a big big hit ever since in 22 years running. And hopefully it goes another 22. Absolutely. Now, we are also uh, uh, going to be just a couple housekeeping things for you folks out there who are here tonight. Uh, you'll be able to see this on Channel 6 uh, in Joliet, but also on YouTube, which I think is uh, Joliet TV. Just scroll down to uh, Joliet TV, and you'll, I think next week you'll see it up on uh, YouTube, or maybe even quicker. Now, I'm also told that there's a... I'm also told that we are live for the first time in 22 years, broadcasting live and direct from beautiful downtown Joliet. And I... And we are also... <laughs> I'm also told that we don't have to wait. We're on YouTube right now broadcasting to your friends and neighbors down in Naples, Florida. Uh, thanks to Ken Plan, I see him standing out there right now waiting for the uh, beginning of the parade. He's our chairman of the Light Up a Holiday Parade. 
and uh, puts lots of hours of work into this uh, activity. And we thank him. A special thanks to our Light Up the Holiday Committee, which is uh, headed up by Ken Plant. Lauren Lass, who's our Executive Director of uh, the Joliet City Center Partnership. I don't know where she's at, but I suspect that she is right there at the very beginning of things, where it's all kinds of fun and frolic putting the parade together. Uh, and uh, what you want to do is go to Joliet TV on YouTube, and you'll find it right there. Uh, you can get on your phones if the folks that are still at home, you can tell them, go to YouTube. And they can wave at you, or you can wave at them. Uh, who else is on there? Dave DiLorenzo from uh, University of St. Francis is on the committee. Uh, Liz McNee, Denise Zielinski, Jim Tiber, and the world-famous Don Fisher is also on that committee. And, and uh, I show up from time to time as well. I'm Richard Fredrickson. Thanks to the uh, great uh, Joliet Public Works, uh, these folks along with Homer Tree and um, uh, the folks who volunteered to get that tree up there, and one of the most beautiful trees, by the way, we've ever had. So thanks to uh, Bill Black and his family for uh, giving that tree up to us. And I uh, want to thank the um, Joliet Police Department. Those bike racks were all set up by the Joliet Police Department, as well as uh, traffic control, management, and security down here tonight. The um, There was a lot of activity throughout the day, guys. Did you get a chance to get down here at all today? Yeah, we, we, we got down about 4 o'clock, Lisa and I, and, and uh, it, it's looking good. A lot, lot of activities during the day, and it, it makes, a, makes a great family outing. It sure does. And, you know, so that we can complete the broadcast, I always have to do this. We want to thank the JCTV volunteers yes. for making all of this happen. Thank you so much. Uh, these are volunteers. And there goes the Rialto. There we go. Uh, there, that makes a big difference. The greatest that lights it up a lot. One of the greatest schedules uh, in a long, long time at the Rialto Theater. Show after show, all the way through the winter and into the spring. So it's going to be a great time at the Rialto Theater. The Joliet Library earlier today, uh, with all of their programs uh, for the kids, and uh, I don't know if you saw them or not, but just about around ooh, I'd say 3:10, two o'clock or so. Uh, Santa let a couple reindeers come down, oh. and they flew right over there at the uh, main entrance of the Joliet Library. They were there for photo ops and meet and greets uh, earlier today. And the Joliet Historical Museum, by the way, had all of their interactive projects for the kids, including the Joliet Park District. They were there with games and prizes at the museum. The uh, big hit, of course, at the museum, and if you probably missed it, but it was it was a lot of fun, and we had Anna and Elsa were at the museum today. Oh, that's a big gift. And they, they were dancing with the kids, and they put on a great show. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we hope they come back again next year. I guess the, the movie is on now, right? The, the, the premiere, the, the, the new movie, Frozen? Yeah, Frozen 2? Yeah, my, uh, my grandkids just went and saw it this past week, and they said it was awesome. The, uh, did you go with them, Grandpa? No, no, Grandpa, oh, Grandpa didn't get invited. <laughs> If you were here earlier today, around, uh, I'd say, uh, 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock, just down the corner there, uh, right around the uh, Rialto 2 built, no, I'm sorry, on Van Buren, is a record store, a record shop called Audio, Audio Fills, where you can get your, you can trade in records and you can buy records. Well, the lineup today was from that store all the way to Scott Street. So there was a lot of activity going on in downtown Joliet. And, and take a look at Bernie. Bernie's uh, Bernie's dancing he? away. Where's he at? Dan right? Dancing oh, away. <laughs> there he is. Having a good time. Partying for Christmas. There. And there's Ken Plant. <laughs> there's Ken Plant. Getting in the photo. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else we had going on there? We had, um, uh, oh, I know what they were doing at Autofuels. They were, they were painting records. And the CNC Vision Gallery right there at the corner of Cass in Chicago uh, were having the kids create holiday ornaments. And the Chevrolet Latin Cafe right behind us over here on the Van Buren Plaza, uh, they had uh, the whole decorations, holiday music going on. And of course, the tradition down at the very beginning of the parade, chicken and spice with their $1 hot chocolates and gifts for all the kids who came in to chicken and spice today. And some, someone new here, I'm, I'm not sure what, I think I know what this is for STEM. You know what the STEM uh, science. science is. Yep. Uh, well, there's science a new uh, center 
uh, on, um, uh, I don't know if it's Van Buren, where that is. It's I Lead B STEM Learning Center. And you, they could have gone in there for uh, little slimies and taffy apples, and they had a great time with the kids. Then um, Diane Harris's shop, and you women, if you've not seen this casual women's shop, it's beautiful. It's right there across the street, uh, one block uh, behind us here by the Rialto Theater. It's, it's called It Is Amazing, and uh, they had free coloring books and crayons for the kids, courtesy of Diane Harris. And some beautiful clothes, I might add. So yeah, stop I, in, women. Yeah, I think Zonta had, an, uh, had a little, little mini gala there, uh, fundraiser. Very nice. Right? Yes. What was that fundraiser for? A member reception after an oh, event. Okay, very good. And of course, one of my favorite places, Jitter's Coffee House. And Mr. and Mrs. Claus stopped in there for a while. Wow. At 2 o'clock this afternoon. And all the kids got free hot chocolate that stopped in there. Then one of our artists, and we're going to be talking about her because she's going to be in this parade, Sue Regis, uh, at the, she does all kinds of glass artwork, and uh, she, glass art flame working demos were free today, and there were several people in there taking advantage of that. And then just in the outskirts of downtown on Scott Street, one of your favorite cafes, Tell me a little bit about your experience here at the Sunshine Mexican Cafe. Oh, I don't know if anybody's been to the Sunshine Mexican Cafe on the other end of downtown, but it is wonderful. We stopped in last week on a um, Wednesday, and we came back on a Thursday. So the Sunshine Cafe is great. They serve breakfast, they serve lunch, and we were even there until about 5 p.m. And today, Delicious. today, they had... El Mago Magic Show. Wow, I missed that. <laughs> they had free hot Mexican drinks. The only hot Mexican drink that Don Fisher has told me about is, is mixed with tequila. Is there some but, tequila in there? That, I don't know. No, 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 no. Well, no. I did okay. hear, though, that they are working on their getting their liquor license. But so. this one was uh, yes, fruit and sweet cane, <laughs> which was for the kids and family. At the Joliet Historical Museum, we had uh, crafts and uh, all kinds of, again, STEM activities, holiday movies, and the Joliet Junior College, which I got out very early to watch them do the sculpturing. The ice sculpturing is still there at the entrance of the museum. And the Joliet Library, as we said before, had uh, snowflake crafts, book sales, magic show, the, the, the reindeer meet and greet. And then the Rialto Square Theater was busy all day long. They had the teddy bear tea. Well, they really kind of a luncheon, kind of a brunch uh, with family fun. And uh, Santa was there also. He took time out, come across the street, and uh, was there with the folks. And, and Don, you, uh, uh, I know that you're involved with the University of St. Francis. So I'm going to give you an opportunity because these are the sponsors. The University of St. Francis makes this parade possible for all of us here today and have done so for years. So if you turn the page, uh, there's some information there that you want to share with the folks right now. Sure, and, and um, I, I'll ad lib a little bit. I, I've uh, been fortunate enough to work uh, since I retired at the city at the University of St. Francis for the last 10 years. and it's. Uh, it's a very special place, and we're lucky to have uh, St. Francis in our community. Um, if you haven't been to St. Francis, um, please stop by. It's a campus that's changing every day, new buildings, new landscaping. And uh, just this past week, uh, we had a, a very large Christmas lighting ceremony. So the quad looks, uh, looks like downtown uh, Joliet here, only in reds, greens, <coughs> whites. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's quite quite impressive, it's, it's worth a visit. Um, but, the, but the university um, has close to 100% of all the full-time students, undergraduate students at the University of St. Francis receive financial aid and scholarships valued at over $20 million a annually. University of St. Francis welcomed approximately 500 new undergraduate students this past fall and which included the 10% growth in the freshman class. So uh, unlike a lot of universities, um, St. Francis is growing. And check out all the different programs they have, the undergraduate and graduate programs at St. Francis. And um, again, we wouldn't be here at this parade for the 22nd year if it wasn't for the University of St. Francis and their financial contribution and sponsorship to make 
uh, this annual event for, for the families of what Joliet. What a great investment in the community. It, Wonderful. It, it's great. And all the presidents over the years at the university, and now uh, Arvid Johnson, who's doing a spectacular job, have um, been very supportive of this local event, and uh, why not? I mean, uh, it, it's, it's really fortunate that we have local universities that, that care about our community. And Wonderful. University of St. Francis definitely is, is a caring, caring place. And I have to say that Bernie is just adorable. The is it Bernie? Yeah, Bernie. Yeah, Bernie. Yeah, Bernie. The mascot. Bernie, the uh, what kind of dog is it? I can't remember. Saint Bernard. Saint Bernard. I should know that. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and their sports teams. A lot of different sports teams. Uh, women's and men's sports teams at the university. And. Uh, come out and see a game, see a basketball game, football game. Well, I have to say we're getting a beautiful shot of the lights and the police getting ready way down on the other end of yeah. Chicago Street. They are, they are getting close. I want to thank uh, Jan Quillman, who's home, uh, recovering from some uh, surgery from, I think, the knee. Uh, thank you, Jan. We had some sound problems. We're going to try to work on that for you. Uh, before we get to the parade, it's off in the distance the shot is right now. But Councilwoman Quillman, even when she's after <laughs> yeah. surgery and home, right she's there. still supporting the community by texting in and letting us know there's some sound thank, issues. Thank you, Jan. And all those lights, you, you're going to see some uh, balloons and, and some of the characters come in there that are uh, generated with, uh, without the courts, okay? So Advance Generator in Naperville are donating, advancing generosity today by donating the use of multiple Generac generators to power the large character balloons in this parade. To find out how to make power outages a thing of the past, call Advanced Generator at 630-820-0920 or visit advancedgeneratorsales.com. Look, look, at that, um, look at that view of Chicago Street right now. It's spectacular. Beautiful. The lights, the people. And, you know, Donna, can you believe it's like probably six or seven people deep? Easily. Maybe yeah, more. Easily. Um, just to our left here, it looks about 10, 10 12 deep. And um, it goes all the way down to the county building. So we're at the Rialto, and the shot you're looking at now on TV is way down almost by, what street is that? That is Clinton Street. Well, that's almost that's at almost a click. We're gonna we're gonna pick these folks up when they get right a little closer to that yeah. stop sign there. But look at all okay. the people stretching all the way down there, and what a beautiful shot! The cameramen have done a great job here with the lights and the and the honor guard. It's just beautiful. Let me share something for you. It's a little bit bulleted here. That lights you see, uh, we're going to be dressing that up even more so in in 2020, and we're going to have lights all summer long and all winter long and all year long. And they're going to go a little further down in the side streets. So a whole new lighting program coming up in downtown Juliet. And uh, that will be announced very shortly. But uh, give you a little bit of a heads up on how beautiful that is right now. It's going to stay beautiful and even bigger and better. Well, I was surprised to see we have so many entries today. This is going to be a really exciting event. Uh, we have, what, almost... Almost 80, I yeah, think. 80, 90, yeah, 80, 90. It's kind of time pretty out. nice. We, we try not to make it, you know, a, a three-hour parade. Yeah. So the kids can enjoy it. And um, we also ask, since we are on the PA, too, don't, please don't have your kids out in the street, you know, crawling under the barricades and stuff like that. So I think we're just about ready to get started here with the uh, 22nd, I heard. is the 22nd year of the 2020 downtown Joliet City Center Partnership sponsored by University of St. Francis Parade. And, uh, yeah. and leading us off today yeah. is the Joliet Police Department Honor Guard. Um, they do great work around the city. They, they attend many, many different events. And each year uh, they alternate between the uh, Fire Department, Joliet Fire Department Honor Guard, and the Joliet Police Department Honor Guard. But uh, very, very classy, very, very, uh, very honored to have the Dolia Police Department Honor Guard here leading off our parade today. Kind of symbolic of all of the men and women of our Joliet Police Department. They do a great job all over the city, but particularly here in the downtown area. Uh, there's a, you know, there's, there's sector uh, police, there's community police, there's uh, the downtown uh, sector, and we see these uh, men and women every single day down here doing a great job. And uh, you can tell the difference. And you can see them here mingling with the with the crowd, Absolutely. and they're walking along the edges there. It's wonderful to see such a great relationship the Joliet Police Department has in the community. 
That's a beautiful, beautiful image there. And the crowd's giving them a round of applause as they come. <laughs> I think the kids are getting pretty excited. It's parades starting off. Again, the Joliet Police Department Honor Guard. Let's give them a big hand. Okay. You know, it's also interesting this year, more kids have brought bags with them. They <laughs> they They're going to catch the candy, out. huh? Right. Great job. So impressive. And the fire department. And the fire department honor guard. Fantastic. Thank, thank you, Joliet Fire Department Honor Guard. Thank you for your service to the community and leading off our parade tonight. We have the distinctive Joliet Police cars. Very attractive. Good to see them. And now we have the Joliet Police Department Child uh, Safety Seat Program, and almost 80% of the child seats are either installed incorrectly, and the child is a seat in the seat incorrectly, or the seat itself is being used incorrectly. The Joliet Police Department has certified technicians to help educate you on the proper use and installment of child safety seats. They also offer two to three free checkup events a year throughout the city where parents can come and get their child seat checked. So another great service by the Joliet Police Department and their child seat program. And we have our Thank Joliet you. Police Chief, Al Roshner, wearing a nice little Santa hat there and all the children. Very nice. Also, I just want to say on the Joliet Police Department, we also have the Joliet FOP, the Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge 58. The Joliet Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge 58, was <coughs> chartered in 1974 by its members. And they raise money throughout the year and help many charitable organizations, such as Easter Seals, Big Brothers Big Sisters, Special Olympics, and several local community centers. So we're very happy that not only do the Joliet Police do their jobs, but they also go out of their way to do charitable endeavors throughout the community. See those kids down there are the, are the police explorers. Very nice. They do a great job. Post 2220, they are designed, the police explorers is designed to provide young men and women with a unique learning experience in policing. So it's sort of a recruitment for the people to see if they like the career of policing. They get instruction, demonstration, and hands-on training. They also work with lots of community groups. In fact, we use them for our Men Who Cook um, at, uh, fundraiser for the Child Advocacy Center. So we're happy to have Joliet Police Explorers Post 220. Now who's coming? The Joliet Fire Department, the City of Joliet Fire Department is here 24-7 every single day out there serving all of us. You know that they do over 19,000 calls every single year. That's around That's 52 a runs a day. Regardless of whatever your emergency might be, whether it's fire, medical, hazmat, water rescue, or any other, the Joliet Fire Department is prepared to respond. Chief Joe Formals and engine number one is leading right around that, right after the honor guard tonight. And here they are in full force and the Joliet guys are right engine there. one. Yep. All right, what are they doing here? <laughs> There's something special on that. All other, right. I think that's candy coming out there. All right. Oh, here we go. They've got giving out fire hats to the children. Oh, that's well, great, awesome. great idea. Nice fire hats. Very nice. Great to see Engine 1 looking so shiny and beautiful. All the kids are clamoring for a fire hat. Great job. We have the, one of the most professional fire departments in the state of Illinois. We're, we're very fortunate to have such a group here in, in Joliet, and uh, they, they do a wonderful job every year. Thank you for your service to our community. 
Well, look at the box, boxes of fire hats in there. <laughs> they have a lot of fire a hats. Good supply of They're going to need a lot of them, I think. A lot oh, of Oh, listen to everybody. <laughs> They're so excited. <laughs> everybody wants a hat. Now we have the Rockdale Fire Department, and uh, they've been loyal, very loyal to our parade. And look, look at the lights on that, that wow. truck, the fire truck. But and the spinner, look at that. <laughs> they're on paid call for the village of Rockdale, our closest neighbor to the south of us. Thank you, Rockdale Fire very Department. Nice. Great job, Rockdale. That's a very nice ride, isn't it? Look at that. A lot of equipment there. This one here is at our race fan rally all the time. Yeah, Will County show. Emergency Management Agency, the Will County Emergency Management Mobile Command Center is used for natural disasters and large public events. The command center is run by a very dedicated group of volunteers who all donate their time. And um, we're in good hands with this group. If there is a, unfortunately, a disaster in Will County, the Joliet area, uh, they're they're always there to help. Thank you, Will County Emergency Management Agency. might be Joliet Junior College. I'm not sure. Rockdale? It's, it's still a part of the emergency, I think. Junior College. No, you're right. Joliet, Joliet Junior, Junior College. College. Yeah. Joliet Junior College has its own police force, and the mission is to provide a safe learning environment for teaching and working within their philosophy and ideals of the community-oriented policing. So we're really happy to have Joliet Junior College Police Department. And now we have the University of St. Francis, our title sponsor for, for tonight's parade in the last 10 to 15 years. And thank you, University. But the University of St. Francis is a Catholic Franciscan university located in the heart of Joliet's Cathedral District. USS has been a pillar in the Joliet community and offers undergraduate and graduate programs in nursing, education, business, social work, arts, and music. Starting in December and continuing throughout 2020, USF will celebrate 100 years of Catholic Franciscan values-based education. Please visit stfrancis.edu for details, and please check out our beautiful campus uh, in the heart of the cathedral area. How did Bernie get all the way to the beginning of the parade after lighting so fast, that's lighting a, the tree? That's a good-looking mascot. <laughs> Great job. I see some people I know on that float. Oh, there's Annette Jelinek. Yeah. She's been at University of St. Francis for a nice long time. Ha have a good time. Beautiful, beautiful float with lots of their employees. This is our shuttle bus, uh, University of St. Francis. We shuttle from our three campuses. We have a downtown campus, the main campus on Plainfield Road in Wilcox and uh, our uh, Guardian Angel campus, uh, which is uh, located on Theodore Street and Plainfield Road. All right. Now coming up is the Joliet City Council with Mayor Bob Odekirk. We've got Don Dickinson, Don right Dickinson, there, Dickinson Councilman Don Dickinson, I'm, Mayor Bob Odekirk, along with Larry Hug, Pat Mudrin, Betty Gavin, Terry Morris, Jan Quillman, who unfortunately is home recovering from surgery, Sherry Reardon, and Mike Turk. There's Glad to see them. Look at what a beautiful float. Mayor Odekirk was elected in 2015 and is a former Joliet City Council member and a former Joliet police officer. And he's a currently a practicing attorney in Joliet. UC Bank is sponsoring the City Council float tonight, and they are proud to give back to the community. There's Councilman Hug. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Juliet Central High School Marching Band, established back in 1912. The Juliet Central High School Band holds a tradition like none other. Juliet's nickname, the City of Champions, derived from numerous awards and accolades earned by that band, including national championships judged by John Philip Sousa and presidential performances. This band is headed for New York City March 23rd wow. with their band director, Don Stinson, out there with delighted... The yeah, what a great band. Let's listen to them. Definitely. 
Probably my favorite part of the parade. Yep. Bands. We're very fortunate. So many great local bands, high school and grade school bands in our area. And they practice long, long hours to be able to do this. Yes, they do. Those kids are great. The flags look fabulous. Their uniforms are beautiful. The color, the, I mean, the bright white lights they have around their neck. Now the trombones. Nothing like a horn section, right? Uh, grass section is fantastic. And then my personal favorite, the drums. Congratulations to Don Stinson, the band director, the band parents. This is a phenomenal band. So deserving of all the high schools in Illinois. They're going to New York. New March, York? City. And they need your help and assistance, by the way. If you're an alumni, if you know someone who is at Julian Central, make sure that you uh, dial in and give them a little bit of financial support there. Great job, Joliet Central. That's a proud band, the Joliet Central Steelman Band. Now we have the Matson Lodge 175 and Joliet Shrine Club. The, the lodge is located in Ferrisum here in Joliet. They have, they have been here since 1855 and the lodge is named after Joel Matson, the 10th governor of Illinois. The Joliet Shrine Club is comprised of members of Matson Lodge and other lodges in the area and has been in existence since 1921. Together they support many charities such as the Shriners Hospitals for Children and others. They invite you to visit the lodge at 350 North Midland Avenue. They do a, they do a good job also, good, good service club. And coming down the street, not look quite some swimmers. Is some, yeah, <laughs> look at that sparkling blue, it reminds you of water. Oh wait, it's the Joliet Park District Blue Tide Swim Team. They are currently in their 10th year, and they consist of over 100 swimmers, ages 6 to 18. It's a little chilly now, but boy, they look like they sure have fun. <laughs> they practice at Inwood Athletic Club, and they compete year-round throughout Illinois and surrounding states. They, uh, they swim for regional, state, and zone championships, and their goal is to produce not only great swimmers, but great people as well. So stop by the Joliet Park District website and check out the Blue Tide Swim Team. You know, we must have one of the best park districts in Illinois. Absolutely, we must absolutely. Have. With all the, the, what they do, and look, look, this is more like, like now, right now. Because the Joliet Park District Inwood Skate School Spirit Club is just about ready to come right into view here. And I think they are, right now. Uh, Inwood Skate, they're dedicated to promoting figure skating within the community. Lessons range from uh, three years old all the way up to adults. So there's not too late for you, Don. You can still get those skating lessons. <laughs> yeah, too bad we didn't have any ice today for them to skate on, but uh, they're doing a well, great job. Yeah, they are indeed. <laughs> I'll pass on the ice. <laughs> now we have Cub Scout Pack 256. They're celebrating 60 years of scouting in Joliet, Shorewood, Plainfield, in the Plainfield area in 2020. They welcome boys and girls, kindergarten through fifth grade, for fun scouting adventures and activities like camping, hiking, Pinewood Derby, community service projects, and so much more. For more information to join the fun, visit their website at p256shorewood.scoutlander.com. Scouting is a, it's a great, great, great to get your kids in scouting at a young age. Thank you again. Scouts are doing a nice job passing out candy. Way to go. There's a little guy. <laughs> Welcome, Scouts. Glad to have you. He got caught behind a little bit. He's catching up. You bet. Because if they, if they don't, if they, if they just come a little quicker, otherwise they're going to be right in, in front of the people who are doing somersaults. I was just going to say, we had swimmers <laughs> and ice skaters, and now, Richard, who do we have next? Yeah, we've got the Impact Booster Club. It supports the overall growth and well-being of any and all kids involved in competitive gymnastics at Jim Dynasty Gymnastics and Tumbling in Joliet. The Booster Club supports the athletes through fundraising and volunteering their time. 
the Impact Booster Club invites you to come and visit them at Jim Dynasty Gymnastics and Tumbling. Let's take a look. As soon as that truck passes by, I think we've got some That's a very creative float. Oh, look at that. Nice flips. Great job. The girls. Great job, girls. Whoa. Don, you want to try some? Uh, I think that's more Richard style. I <laughs> oh, don't yeah. Know. Yeah, yeah. I'll be out there in yeah. a minute. Just a All minute. Right. Good job, Great ladies. Job. <laughs> that's got to be cold hitting that uh, asphalt. But they've got gloves on, some of them. Very nice. You know, they did this last year, too, and it was cold yeah. last year. It really was cold. And now coming into our area is St. Joseph's Academy. They're on the web at SJS Academy Joliet. St. Joseph's Academy provides a unique educational opportunity for anyone's sons or daughters. They treat each student as an individual and they respond to each one's personal learning styles. So check out St. Joseph Academy. Glad to have them. And here we've got their nice banner here with their website. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for being in the parade today. Thank you. A lot of spirit at St. Joseph Academy. Not to be undone, we've got Girl Scouts coming up. Yeah, with the Girl Scouts at Service Unit 730. Uh, these Girl Scouts are <laughs> representing Joliet, Rockdale, and the Crest Hill area. Have a homemade float. They did a great job on their float. I'd love to see the homemade floats, too. They, did a wonderful job. And look at that. We get cookies. Oh, girl, my girl favorite, cookies. Thin Mint. Be sure oh, you get some thank you. Girl, girl Scout, Scout cookies. cookies. Thanks. All right. Thank you. You see your favorite Boy. Thin Mints? Yes, out. Thin Mints. Thank you, Girl Scouts. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. I think I've got uh, coming in the view here. Let me double check. I think it's St. Jude. Let me see. Is it? Yes, I think it is. St. Jude look Catholic at that. School is an elementary school in the Dominican tradition. They provide a, uh, a Christ-centered atmosphere in which students may grow in knowledge, truth, and love. And what a great, a great float. Hey, guys. His wonders are everywhere. St. Jude School. Look at the smiling faces. The St. Jude Flyers. And Don, you said homemade float. That's one of the, that's one of the best ones so far. It's yeah, beautiful. That, there's a lot of work put into that, and they, they did a great job. And now we have a baseball team, the Whiteford Youth Baseball. It's located at Black Road and I-55. It's a youth organization that caters to baseball players between the ages of four and 18. Whiteford even offers a collegiate age team. So go to their website at whitefordbaseball.com and learn more about the Whiteford Youth Baseball. And we're glad to have them in the parade. Now another Girl Scout unit I think is coming up, and I wonder if they're bringing cookies too. This will be a big day. <laughs> well, they well hide the ones we got. <laughs> yeah, hide the ones. Don't let them know we already got some. But this is Girl Scout, Sir, Girl Scout Service Unit 719. They also serve the uh, area of Joliet, Rockdale, Crest Hill, and Shorewood. And uh, we'll see if they can match the cookies up here. I don't know. but <laughs> Jeez, Look, look at, she's look. dressed like a Thin Mint. Look at, look yeah. at that. Look at the cute I cats. like the Thin Mint costume. Yeah. Woohoo. All have their beautiful lights on and have the American flag going. That's very, very nice, ladies. Love it. Look how sweet, adorable. It is sweet. That's a beautiful age, isn't it? Yes. And your group can be in the parade, too. You just have to contact uh, the right. Joliet City Center Partnership, and you can be in. Just like the Triple Blaze Cheer and Dance, they, that's what they did, and here they are in the parade. It's a non-tryout team for ages 5 to 13 years old, so everyone can get in there and participate wow. and have fun. <laughs> there they are. I got it. They look fabulous. So great to have them here. Hi, Triple Blaze. I love the red around their ankles. And now coming up, we've got Cub Scout Pack 26 from the Cathedral of St. Raymond's. Hi, <laughs> Cub Scout Pack 26. We gotta even that, we gotta even that line up a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you. Thanks, St. Ray's Cub Scouts. Keep up the great work. All right, so let's go back to baseball. Yeah. And uh, back in 1940. <laughs> Yeah, St. Joe's Pony Baseball is founded in 1940. 
uh, baseball, the Joliet's oldest youth baseball program. They have provided the highest quality baseball to more than 10,000 youth players over the past, believe it or not, 80 years. Please contact St. Joe's Pony Baseball for more information and what a great sport baseball is. Great summertime sport. And before we get to the next one, I just wanted to say I saw um, Terry Darcy in the crowd, the owner of Darcy GMC Motors, and happy to have Terry Darcy, who's also got an entry in the parade today. Yeah, well, he's at almost all our events, either as a sponsor or as a participant. A great community outreach with the Darcy, the whole Darcy family. I saw the former uh, director of community and economic development here. My my old boss, Jim Haller. I shouldn't call him old. He's not old. He's not old. <laughs> we're, we're not old, right, Richard? Cut that part out. Yeah, Cut that yeah. Part. But uh, here's the Boy nice Scouts. I can't, I can't let them get by without mentioning Boy the Boy Scout Troop 15. 15. We welcome you, and they welcome all you, ages 10 to 18. The common experience with being a scout is all about. They meet every Tuesday, 7 p.m. to 8.30 at Grace United Methodist Church in Avalon in Joliet. And we're continuing on the fabulous, exciting, wonderful youth doing wonderful, exciting activities with the La Dance Academy. La Dance Academy is a family-oriented dance studio that's dedicated to the individual development of each dancer. LDA is proud to be celebrating 50 years of quality dance in the community. And you saw their website address is ladanceacademy.com. And look at how cute they are. Look, watch them perform. I've introduced that group several times during our telethons. For, they're adorable. It's, it, they're wonderful. And again, just like band parents, there are dance parents. Yep. And, and great costumes yeah. for tonight, huh? Beautiful. Just pretty. Very nice. Great choreography. Love the lights on the antlers. Good job, girls. It's a large group. It is. And here come those dedicated parents behind them, right, Richard? <laughs> yep. Great job. There's got a few other parents going to be lighting up because there's got to be more than that. Thank you for being in our parade this year. We might have something a little out of order. No, it's, no, it's, it's uh, okay. This is the group, all right. This is Gospel Life okay. Church. This uh, great church uh, has been serving the Joliet area for the last 49 years. Their desire is that the community would know the love of Jesus and the new life. And yeah, Gospel Life Church. But they come from trusting in Him. Gospel Life Church members volunteer uh, for uh, so many things. They volunteer for almost all of our events under the leadership of Pastor Brian Heller and Elaine Heller. And Pastor Heller right now is in the uh, Republic of Congo on a mission trip. Actually, I think that was also sponsored by Unidos Marketing Network. They're located in downtown Joliet specializing in digital marketing and content creation. And if you ever follow the Joliet City Center Partnership, you'll know their work. Well, they're above us uh, taking pictures with their, uh, where they're everywhere actually, with their camera crew. They were up there with, uh, on the Rialto, and it was before that they were, they were. Uh, and now we have the areas. Joliet Public Library that just went by. They opened in 1876, and they bring together services, expertise, to inspire reading, growth, and learning. And they're right here in downtown Joliet and also in Black Road and Ottawa Street. And we have the Paws on 66, Hopeful Tales, and Bailing Out Benji. Uh, Hopeful Tales <laughs> Animal Rescue. Andy. It's an animal rescue of Joliet and Bailing Out Benji represented why adopting rescue pets are the best choice. Come meet your new best friend at the 4th Annual Paws on 66 Pet Rescue Day on Sunday, June 14th, right here in downtown Joliet. There will be dozens of rescue rescuers oh, with adaptable pets on site to meet local vendors, entertainment, activities, and more. And look at the furry friends they brought today. <laughs> yeah. we, oh. we actually adopted one of our dogs from this organization, and uh, it's a wonderful organization. Please. Oh, That's look at that That's one of the key one. leaders right there in that, in that truck there, right there. Yeah. Please, please rescue these beautiful dogs and cats. Puppies are not products. They're beautiful. They're Thank good. you so much. Go Thank to bailingoutbenji.com. In Hopeful Tales. 
<laughs> Very nice. Very nice indeed. The art movement of Sue Regis Glass Art, unique flame working studio in the heart of downtown Joliet, is coming into uh, view right now. What a great job. They debuted uh, at the prison, the Collins Street Prison, during the events down there, along with the uh, art movement is the collective of businesses and artists working together as agents of change, aiming to preserve and build upon the diverse cultural landscape of Joliet's history, inspire the region's creative potential and empower both artists and residents to participate in creative experiences. And right along with them was the old prison burnt district artists. Thank you so much for your work and dedication. Whoa, someone just dropped a big bag of candy behind us. And now we have It's Amazing, downtown Joliet. It's an amazing boutique that sells wonderful ladies and men's and children's upscale clothing at affordable prices. Diane Harris runs it. It's at 76 North Chicago Street, downtown Joliet, just south of the Rialto. And the, now the Joliet Elks Lodge 296. The Elks Lodge has been a fixture in our community since uh, 1895. Um, we haven't been around that long, but I remember <laughs> I remember the old Elks building in downtown Joliet, yeah. and now they're on the frontage road on I-55. And please, please uh, welcome the Joliet Elks Lodge. And, and that's a great float. Vi visit their restaurant and an awesome bar they have at the Elks Lodge. And also we have a good neighbor here at First McWest is a relationship-focused financial institution. One of the largest independent public traded uh, bank holding companies in Chicago and the Midwest. First Midwest Bank and other affiliates provide a full range of commercial, treasury management, equipment leasing, consumer wealth management, trust, and private banking products. And they're all over the Chicagoland area in southeast Wisconsin, northwest Indiana, central and western Illinois, and eastern Iowa. In Will County, of course, First Midwest has 16 offices and has more than 500 employees. And they're rocking. And now here comes the Joliet West High School Marching Tigers. They are led by drum majors Hannah Eldred and Paolo Lozada and Olivia Eldred. The band performs regularly around the state at various shows and competitions, and the band is part of a comprehensive industrial music program at Joliet West. Okay, they're going to perform for us now. Great Christmas sweaters there. a mascot it looks like. <laughs> certainly do. And we'll see if we get a shot of that. There he is. A little bulldog. There he is. Oh look at him. How cute. <laughs> kind of a tiger but yeah, is a bulldog. Sort of, uh, <laughs> yeah right. Okay so I think this is uh, the folks from uh, CMB County. Uh, they are well, they've been around for 11 years and counting. Um, they uh, kind of really kind of dedicate and focus themselves for the Hispanic uh, community. And we thank them for coming into this year's parade. CMV Accounting, Incorporating Administrative Accounting Tax Services, here for 11 years. 
Now we have an Esperanza project. Yeah. And that's, a, Don, that's a project that's housed by the nonprofit uh, Manas Network. They work year-round to gather funds and materials to prepare for once-a-year distribution to underdeveloped areas in Mexico. They hand-deliver backpacks and school supplies to children in need. They have reached 1,212 kids over five years, and we certainly do appreciate what they do, and they appreciate your support. Very nice. Okay, so that's the that's the Gospel Life Church that I thought was earlier, and these folks help us out on all of our events. Uh, they have been around for so many years, and there's a wonderful Christian uh, church on uh, Joliet's far east side, and around 49 years, a desire again in their community, which is us, uh, to let them know the love of Jesus and the new life that comes from trusting in Him, and it's. It's one of the bigger balloons we have here. Looks like he's just about <laughs> making it uh, by those trees. I think that's how we all feel after eating Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, good point, good point. I he's coming real close to that branch area <laughs> now, right now. Richard, I remember uh, one year, maybe about 10 years ago, <laughs> at, at Cass Street, we had a, a, balloon, a balloon deflate because it did oh. get punctured yeah, by a tree. I think that was a, wasn't that the soldier? Yeah, it was a, it was a large one. Face. It, it was about that. the size of this, this balloon, which is pretty cool. The church headed wow. up by uh, Pastor Brian Heller, as I mentioned earlier, and on a mission trip uh, this month with his uh, kids and they're in the Republic of Congo. Merry Christmas from Gospel Life Church. Great people, good volunteers. Great volunteers. Wonderful to see a church actually doing lots of outreach in the community. Great job. Boy, he's as tall almost as the start of the Rialto sign. Yeah, huh? he is really tall. Now, what do I have here? Do I have my prison, uh, my prison city writers car club? I think that those Looks are cars, like must be a club. This is a local car club in the area based out of Joliet. They not only have low rider cars, but also uh, they have uh, old school cars. They're trying to show the community a little something different and they certainly are. Ooh, look at the little one way up on top there. Oh, I didn't see him or her. <laughs> Well, that's a sunroof, though, right? Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> that's a good ride. And they've got lights decorating all their cars. I'm not sure, but I think this is their first year. You've got a great spot there. Great spot. wonder how long it takes to decorate a truck like that. Beautiful. Well, I guarantee you they have fun doing it. Well, we have the Joliet Slammers baseball team. They were the 2018 Frontier League champions. Um, they look forward to another great year at DuPage Medical Group Field. Come out and see them this summer, play and support the only professional baseball team in Joliet. And it's a great facility. It's a it's a great time for for your family and having a lot of fun. There they go. That's now Jitters we've Coffee got House. Milano's coming up. The Jitters went well, by. Well, Jitters just went by, but Milano's you get now you get ready to the, the, the duck. Okay, you ready? All right. Because that 100 year anniversary celebration was 2015. Milano has the best buns in town, offering wholesale and retail breads, breakfast pastries, as well as wedding and birthday cakes. This is one of the biggest hits of the parade. <laughs> Located in downtown Juliet, and where you can get Whoa, your morning right, coffee. Right up there. <laughs> Good shot. Good shot. Way to go. Hey. Got it. It's Mario you Mario. Good job, Dibetto. Mario. Thank you. Milano's is a wonderful tradition in Joliet, and I think we also missed Jitters Coffee House. I just want to say Jitters has uh, been in this area supporting for 15 years, and we're very happy to have them stop by and have lunch any day. American Warriors Motorcycle Association is approaching now. It's an association dedicated to the betterment of veterans. Over the years, AWMA has helped local veterans and their families. If you wish to become a member, 
You do not need a motorcycle, nor, nor do you need to be a veteran. We have several levels of membership, including a cadet program for children of all ages. General opening meetings will be held on the second Sunday of every month at 6 p.m. at Stone City VFW. And it sure Thanks. is getting loud. Yeah, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna get real loud, I think. Woo. American Warrior Motorcycle Association. Well, look at this interesting float they have with the reindeer and the lights. Very cute. Well, this is a, lar this is a large entry. Woohoo. Oh, nice. Sweet tarts. So I don't know if this is the, I guess it is, the Christian Brotherhood of Blood Brothers and the American Warriors Motorcycle Association. <laughs> yeah. They, over the years, the AWA. <laughs> has helped local veterans and their families, and they, they're a great group, along with the Christian Brotherhood of Blood Brothers as well. And now it's gonna quiet down a little bit. <laughs> you think? Because we've got Cornerstone Jaguars. Cornerstone Services provides progressive, comprehensive services to people with disabilities, promoting choice, dignity, and the opportunity to live in the community. Since 1969, Cornerstone has been a leader, meeting the unique needs of individuals with disabilities, mental illness, physical disabilities, and sensory impairments. Oh, uh, yeah. Now we have a... Here. Try this one, Don. I'll see how you do. I think oh. it's a train. Okay, it's a CM <laughs> Railway. It's, it's Little Obi. The safety train travels throughout the U.S. Canada and promoting railroad safety and awareness. And uh, here at our parade... In Joliet, it's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's the coolest train we've had so far in 22 years. Yeah. CN Railway Little OB Safety Train. Go Thank to littleob.ca to read more about it. And here comes the bank, Joliet Bank and Trust, Shorewood Bank and Trust. You would know them as Wind Trust. And we've got two of those locations here in Joliet, one on Jefferson and one on Route 59, Shorewood Bank and Trust. Many of those uh, folks up there I do know. Hi, guys. <laughs> very active in the community. We're very happy to have Wintrust and Mary yeah. Ann Murphy, one of my buddies. Yeah. Love her. Good people. Oh, Here what's comes coming up? Wilmington High School Band, another fantastic band. The, the band is playing Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, okay? <laughs> They are led by band director Ellen Georgia and drum majors Megan and Aaron and color guard coach Ashley Harding. Thank you for all your continued support and go Wildcats. Wilmington Wildcats marching band. Uh, again, they've been here for 22 oh, years. Oh, yes, they have. Thank they don't you. look at that old, though. No, <laughs> not, this, not this group here, but their organization, they've been awesome. Santa hats. Great job, Wilmington High School Band. Okay, one more. Oh. There you go. Thank you, Wilmington. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Very serious. Yeah, they are. Great job. Thank well, you, this, Wilmington. This is serious business. business. Thank you, Okay, rush people coming. Yes, now we have a local well, Joliet company. As soon as Wilmington well, moves well, on. Well, now, now they're moving on. Yeah, and it's J. Russ and Company, and they specialize in underground site utilities and mass evacuation. Welcome, J. Russ and Company. Thank you for participating you in know, the parade. I've seen those trucks before. I never knew what they did. That's right. That's kind of interesting. Glad family to see back J. There. Russ. Company. Here comes the family. Welcome, J. Russ. <laughs> And one of my favorite companies coming into view here now, Rendell's 24-hour towing and recovery in the Joliet and greater Chicagoland area. There's no job that they can't handle. It's Rendell's to the rescue. Uh -huh. 
Wow. Little jobs and really big ones out there in I-80 and I-55. Look at this big truck coming through yeah. here. Wow. This must be for semis, huh? That's for the semis uh, passing through on I-80 and I-55, 53, you name it. And they'll take care of you. I can't imagine what this, this vehicle will cost. Oh, and a cute little one inside and the cab got, there. They've got about four or five of those kinds of equipment out there. Uh, on Mills Road is their location. And on Republic for the, for the cars. Next, we have Joliet Junior College. Did you know you can go to school at an affordable price and at your own pace, whether it's taking one class per semester or finishing your degree? Joliet Junior College offers more than 180 degree and certificate programs that lead to in-demand, high-paying careers, online classes, and professors who really care about your service. Welcome. Thanks to have Joliet Junior College, and what a great float. They've got their nice logo on the back, their mascot, I should say. Now, yeah. in 22 years, what's happening right now has not happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is some kind of a snafu is taking place further up uh, down the trail, but the parade is not over. Yeah. We have a little bit of, uh, of a delay. I see lights about uh, three blocks down, and they will be here. But just to remind you folks who are... Uh, watching us uh, and those of you who are here uh, tonight. Uh, the broadcast team once again is uh, Lisa Lass and uh, Mr. Don Fisher uh, and our chairman of this whole event who probably is pulling his hair out right now <laughs> is Ken Plant and we want to thank the uh, Julia Public Works. The parade is not over if you think yeah. it, it is, it isn't. Santa Claus is still on his way. And we have a giant fireworks display coming up as well. Well, I think the crowd has only gotten larger. How's everybody enjoying the parade? We'll get some of your nice faces on TV. Wave. You are now, you are now the parade, so you might as well wave and get on Channel 6 and YouTube. <laughs> so nice that people dressed up in nice festive lights, hats. And what a beautiful shot of Chicago Street that was. It really is. And I uh, want to, again, thank all of the stores, restaurants, and venues that were open uh, uh, throughout the day and now into the evening hours. You know, you got uh, the, the um, uh, Chevrolet uh, Latin Cafe behind us. You can be it. And um, in addition to that, we will have uh, Cut 158 is open tonight for dinner after the... the um, Juliet's in the corner of Cass and in, in um, what is that? Chicago, Cass in Chicago, and there's several restaurants down here in the Joliet area. Uh, Katerina's is a new one with the old keg. Uh, they're open. And that's delicious, and they have an adorable back deck that you can go on. Not on a night like tonight, but you can go during the yeah. spring and summer, and it's just adorable. And you can sit out there. It's it's very brightly painted and have couple margaritas in the sun, some nachos, some good tacos. They have a great assorted taco special that you can go in and get. And I think you get four or five assorted mini tacos. Very nice. I can see the parades uh, resuming. We're about at uh, Cass Street now. Should be here momentarily. It reminded me about, I don't know, about 20 years ago, I was at the Corn Fest in Morris. And uh, a parade was going on. And, you know, that's a long parade. That's like three hours. And they had a fire. Oh, no. Right in the middle of it, they had a fire. And you think the parade was over? No. They had the fire. The fire department came. Yeah. And an hour later, they presumed and, and resumed that parade. And it won't take that long for this to uh, Well, I'll tell you what. The going. crowd is starting a chant of Merry Christmas. <laughs> Good. Very nice. You know why we have a little bit of a break? Um, you know, thinking back the last 20, 22 years, um, big thanks have to go out to Tom Mahalik, who was a, the executive, the director of the City right. Center Partnership yep. at the time. And Tom, Tom, um, uh, John... Uh, Mesra? No, not really. No. Uh, yeah, John Mesra. He yeah. very much supported the parade, and um, yeah, we have a big thank you to, to them and having the vision and uh, John Mesra too supporting us uh, when we got started to make this thing a big success. Well, this is going to be a surprise. Who this is? I'm Whoever it is that got candy being thrown. So that's part of the parade. I'm betting it's the Italian American. Oh, it could be Harris. Society. No. I'm yes, the best spaghetti in town. Uh, Harris. No. no it's the Italian American. Oh my God, Italian this is one of my favorite American people. 
Best like spaghetti in town, second Thursday every month. Do you not miss it? From September through May, Breakfast with Santa, December 14th. That's coming up. What Other <laughs> upcoming events, check on Facebook, theamericanitalian.org, or call them at 815-725-7450. Vote it. The best of festivals of Will County for 2019, and it is a fun time. And that spaghetti float was fabulous. If anybody yeah. hasn't had their spaghetti, you have to check it out. You can literally eat it for a day and a half, two days. It's so much they give you. Delicious. And look, this one's dressed like spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> she is. We like your spaghetti and meatballs <laughs> costume. Great job. Perfect, perfect. Great. Makes me hungry. we got to find some. You know, that's a great staple, isn't it? Spaghetti and meatballs, you know. I don't know if, if uh, we'll, we'll check. I know Harris is in this parade, but maybe not. Uh... Yeah, I, uh, I got a text, actually, okay. texting that uh, we talked a little earlier about trees deflating balloons. Because, oh, boy. Uh, oh, we lost a balloon. Uh, the Harris balloon uh, yes. deflated. Oh, boy. Oh. But uh, we have to thank Harris and... All their contributions to downtown Joliet and to this parade, but uh, unfortunately, their their uh, balloon won't be in. And now we have Morning Star Mission. They relieve this. They relieves relieves the spiritual and physical hunger of the poor by providing food for the hungry, clothing for the needy, shelter for the homeless, and the gospel of Jesus Christ for all. They've been here since 1909. They serve men, women, children, and entire families in Joliet and greater Will County, offering hope for the hurting through one-time meals and long-term recovery programs. Thank you, Morning Star Mission. Now it looks like the parade is trying to regroup after poor Harris lost their... That's what happened, I guess, huh? Their so the, yeah, the balloon? It deflated. What? But the crowd's not giving up. They're waiting for Santa. Everybody wants Santa to come. Pretty soon. I talked to him earlier today, and he definitely is in town and definitely ready to oh. come by and visit. This is 54. 54 is the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. They are community ambassadors for the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network raising both funds and awareness in the fight against pancreatic cancer. Their mission is to fund research, support patients, and create hope. Um, what, what a wonderful, wonderful job that they do, and um, the best of them in their search for a cure for pancreatic cancer. I see another, another uh, entry coming down the line. Looks like we've got. It could be 55. I want to get a little yes, closer. It is. is it? Okay, this is Las Monarcas. Uh, they're celebrating the Mexican posadas and the pinatas. Uh, they bring together another a part of culture with uh, Las Monarcas, a group of eight girls or women. Uh, Mount of, oh, no, it can't be. That. Oh, they're coming up. They're I can there. see them. But that, there, there they are. That's the beginning of them, but the horses are just uh, out of reach of the camera. I'm going to wait for them to get just a little closer for us. They were in the Mexican parade earlier this year. There they are. They perform. There's a little girl there on the on the pony, and here comes the uh, uh, the eight girls or women uh, mounted on horseback who perform a, a choreography for the Mexican music. So do the horses do the dancing, or do the girls? No, the horses do. Wow. Yeah, the horses do. And look yeah. at those beautiful dresses. This, this is awesome. This is an awesome, awesome unit. Gorgeous. Welcome. Hola. Those are some big horses. Very pretty. Thank you, ladies. Glad to have you. Thank you very much. You look great. Feliz Navidad is right. And the horses are decorated. Some so of those correct. girls are really young. Hi. Oops. Really, and they, and they got the guys with the sweepers doing a good job. Yeah, look at that. That's the tough job right there. 
St. Joseph Catholic Church. It's a historic Catholic Church in Joliet, located on the north end of Joliet City Center. And they've been here since over 125 years. They visit their website at www.stjosephjoliet.org or fi find them on their uh, Facebook page and Twitter page. They'd like to wish us a Merry Christmas and I'll tell you what, one of the most historical churches, if you, if you haven't had a chance, stop by St. Joe's and, and visit the interior of the church and it's uh, spectacular. It's uh, Thank you for staying in downtown over 125 years and their service to our community. So what, uh, there's an ethnic church background in that, a history of that? I think it's the Slovenian church. Okay. Yeah, the Slovenian okay. Women's Union is located across the street. And those beautiful twin towers, I don't know what they call them, the uh, St. Joe's Church. Sure. They've got it built into their um, float decor here. You can see them towering. Yeah, a lot of Slovenians um, immigrated to uh, the Joliet area for work back in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Great job on that float. What, what is that, John? Is that a Buick? What do you think? I don't know. You're the, you're the car guy. I think it is. Yeah, it's a Buick. beautiful Buick. Yeah. There you go. Coming into camera range. There it is. I think we put all the pieces back together. I think the parade is back in running. The parade is back in. Yeah. Hi, everybody. The excitement has not died. Everybody's <laughs> waiting for Santa. <laughs> That's a great looking man. Great job. Also, uh, uh, back for the last 20-some years, I uh, have to mention John Albrecht, uh, fire, or a policeman for the city of Joliet. He was one of our volunteers for, oh, about 20 years or so. And, and uh, John worked at the lineup on the far end and uh, always did a wonderful job. And I and, uh, want to thank John for his, his contribution over the years along with uh, Tom Mahalik. Look how pretty Chicago Street looks with those lights in the in the picture here. The cameramen are doing a great job tonight for JCTV, capturing the beauty, the spectacle, and all the excitement on the children's faces and the gloriousness that makes the parade. You know, uh, there's a couple of, of folks who also were behind the scenes in many years of these parades was Cam Barnett and um, her husband. Oh, yes, definitely. You know, they were doing a great job for many, many, many years uh, helping us with this. Worked with, the parade. worked with Cam for so many years. She was she was wonderful, wonderful lady. And now we've got the ladies of WJOL. I'm talking about WJOL's Lynn, Mary, and Natalie, and Mary is throwing <laughs> out the candy. Mary is one of the partners at Wormer Rogers and Duran, and following her is <laughs> they got Lynn, Lynn, Lynn is way back. We can't back see her there? on camera yet, but she's coming up. <laughs> Mary, there's Lynn Lichtenauer of the famous Rialto, Joliet Township High School, you name it, she's done it around town. I think they're going to have a meeting after this parade about this. Whose idea was it to walk? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good to see our women of WJOL. Listen to them every Friday morning. They always start off the show with the wonderful hey, Tom Jones. Glad to have you. Women yeah, of WJOL, way to see. Great job, Lynn. And coming into view is the Illinois Rock and Roll Museum, their, their squad car, you know, the famous one. They have recently purchased, by the way, the three-story building with over 15,000 square feet at 9 West Cass Street. The museum is dedicated to uh, rock and roll and a Hall of Fame dedication to musicians, bands, DJs, recording studios, and other music-related business. For more info, you go to www.roadtorock.com Org, and you can listen to Illinois music 24-7 at RoadToRockRadio.net. The Salvation of Army of Joliet and Will County has served the community for 154 years, reaching out to the community through religious programs, social services, youth programs, and the food pantry. 
Uh, they do a wonderful job in, in, uh, on Richard Street. They have a beautiful building. Please visit the Salvation Army and please contribute to them. They do wonderful work. That very unique bell sound, right? We all know the Salvation Army bells during the holiday. Thank you, Salvation Army. You ever ring those bells, Tom? No, I never never did. How about I yourself? Rang I, I, I rang them. <laughs> always on the coldest days. Yeah, it's always the coldest. Yeah. I'm looking for, uh, I'm, I'm looking beyond the camera here because I think Harris re rebooted their balloon. But anyway, we'll look and see who's coming up here now. Supposedly what's coming up is the Associated Clubs of Will County, so we'll see. Oh, in, uh, in, in the law firm. Okay. That would be the Combined Organization of the Moose, the Elks, Morans, and many more. It's comprised of veterans organizations and clubs. The Combined Group is a nonprofit that was formed 56 years ago for the betterment of the community by raising funds to stock food pantries and they remember veterans with gifts. This year, the military veterans they are honor are Rich Campbell, United States Navy, who earned the Silver Star in combat in Vietnam. Welcome, Associated Clubs of Will County. Thanks for all the work you do in our county. And now in uh, view is the Rathburn, Cerviniak and Cozo, one of the largest firms here in Will County, law firms. Frank Cerviniak leads his team and trial lawyers on behalf of a diverse client base, fully represent their legal interests and legal rights for all in Will County. Talk to the lawyers at RCK if you want the very best legal representation by calling 815-730-1977, and they've got a really nice looking float. And we've actually got Frank on the float. Welcome oh, yeah, I Frank see him up there. on I the see float. Him and is that his very famous son, maybe? The country western singer? It could be. It could be. Welcome, Frank. Welcome, Rathbun Serviniak Kozel. The Laraway Lancers Marching Band is back to a, spread some cheer in the Joliet community. The band is made up of students in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade and is led by director Ken, Kelly Thielen. And uh, again, they've been here for 22 years, do a wonderful job, and we appreciate their contribution and loyalty to our uh, Joliet Parade. Thank you, Laraway. And Don, they have rebooted, blown up, put air in, and they are back in the in the parade. They're they're back in the parade. Watch them, Don. They, they can't they can't stop Harris. There you go. So Harris Casino and Hotel of Joliet. They've been in the, the community since 1992. Um, wonderful, wonderful organization. Um, they do wonders and, and supply so many uh, so many things to the Joliet community, from tax revenue to uh, some fun. I'm I'm looking forward basically um, in this next year to some sports betting at the casino. So uh, and they have delicious restaurants and banquet rooms. Great job. Do a great job. Thank you for uh, being so loyal to our community over the years. And speaking of loyalty to the community, yeah comes one of Joliet's most loyal corporate partners, Darcy Motors. They've been providing Joliet and the surrounding communities with all of their car buying and service needs for over 25 years. Visit them online at DarcyMotors.com and check out some of the, look at this beautiful, beautiful vehicle. And somewhere in the crowd, like we said, is the owner, Terry Darcy, who not only runs a business in town, but he actually helps many, in fact, all, I think, charitable organizations in town. Hop on. Hop on. 
on the Christmas train. Look at so that. So Santa Fe. Now that's a fun ride. If you're a child, look at that. Getting able to ride the parade and the Santa Fe Express. Got some lovely cars from GMC. Trucks, I mean. Trucks from GMC. Oh, the Grinch. Look at the Grinch. Oh, the Grinch is here. <laughs> And just in view of our cameras now come the Faith Bible Church is a multi-generational evangelical church located on 34 acres of property on the east side of Joliet. Their goal is helping people grow in their faith so they can make an impact in the community. Faith Bible Church. Thank you and welcome. Great job. A lot of spirit at Faith Bible Church. We had trains and <laughs> planes and buses. Now we have a trolley from Midland State Bank. Uh, they again are in, in our parade, and Dan Stevenson, who's um, in charge of the Joliet operation at Midland State Bank. They have two locations, one in downtown Joliet next to the Rialto Theater and one on Route 59 at Theodore Street. Um, they do wonderful work in Midland State Bank. Again, like Darcy uh, and Dan Stevenson is, is one of the corporate uh, citizens that do so much for our community. Thank you, Dan, and uh, your whole team at Midland State Bank. And coming up is one of my new favorite restaurants, the Sunshine Mexican Cafe. They offer authentic <laughs> Mexican breakfast and lunch. They're family owned and operated and they take pride in their heritage. And they have traditional flavors and hospitality. And they are having fun today. They also do a great parade entry, I would say. Yeah, they do. That. I was there this morning and the place was packed and people were having a great time, great breakfast. Lunch there. Great job. Yeah. Look at the dancers. They're enjoying themselves. Look at the little one, how sweet. <coughs> now we have Telecab yep, yep, Taxi. Yeah, happy holidays from uh, Telecab Taxi, Will County's premier taxi service. Open 24 hours a day, all year long. Service to many of Juliet's great locations, Chicago Land Speedway, all the airports, Rialto Square Theater, and all the local casinos. That's Telecab, 815-726-TAXI. And uh, let's see, you know, they wish every one of you right now from Telecab a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. Telecab, radio dispatched. John Buchanan and company over there, they do a great job. Hear him on JOL every once in a while on... Uh, on Fridays. I think most of the balloons are making it. You know, yeah, they our, are. our balloons look a lot better than the New York balloons did. <laughs> yeah, they had a little rough, rough weather out there. <laughs> a, little, a little wind, like we had the day before. So, you know, that is beautiful shot there. That is beautiful. gorgeous. Cameramen are really doing a great job for JCTV today. Downtown hasn't looked better. It looks awesome. Christians United. Christians United sends good wishes for peace throughout our common commitment to love, service to the people, parishes, and their, our community. They wish us a happy holidays from Christians United. And now we have Immediate Cure Quick Care. Immediate Cure is a family-owned local quick care located in Joliet and Shorewood. Open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day. They offer on-site x-rays, labs and treatment for patients of all ages. Walk in anytime located in Joliet and Shorewood. Welcome, Immediate Cure Quick Care. And that's a big, what is that, a squirrel? What is that, Don? It's a, it looks like a dinosaur, a doesn't dinosaur. it? A yeah. dinosaur, all right. Jurassic dinosaur. Park. A Christmas yeah, dinosaur. It looks like a Jurassic Park dinosaur. Yeah. Nice to go to a family-owned quick care. We'll have to remember. Yeah, they're that. right there on, in Essington, I think. Right? 
in Joliet and in Sherwood. Yeah. yeah. Well, here comes Silver Cross Hospital. We all know about Silver Cross Hospital in New Lenox. Uh, Truven Health and IBM Watson, 100 top hospitals, national award winner for seven here, seven consecutive years. A recipient of eight hospital safety grade by the Leapfrog Group for the tenth consecutive time. Silver Cross Hospital is a non-for-profit health care provider serving all of Will County and Southwest suburban communities since 1895. With 4,000 employees, physicians, and volunteers, Silver Cross outstanding care and patient safety and satisfaction are of the utmost importance. That's a nice float. Very nice. Oh, here they come. Troy Middle School Marching Band that's made up of 7th and 8th graders and is being led by 8th grade drum majors Ken Kendellis Jackson and Noel Klima and Paige Rakes. Their marching song, Trojan Spectacle, and the cadence were written especially for the Troy Band. The band is under the direction of Bill Getz and Jennifer Carlton. The Troy Middle School Marching Band. Thank you, moms and dads. Yeah, thank you thank again, you. Troy. Oh, it must be political season. Do you think so? I it think might be. So. It could be. But I'm going to wait now. They're not <laughs> in camera sight yet. They're almost there. Almost. <laughs> not quite. Here they come. Oh, there they are. This is the Illinois Yang Gang, uh, supporters of presidential Democratic candidate Andrew Yang. His signature policy is giving a freedom dividend of $1,000 a month to every adult American. Andrew Yang supporters. They're here with us today. Just, to, just for the record, Andrew Yang is not here, but his supporters are. And coming up next is another person who is it currently in office, Senator Jennifer Bertino, who is now running for Will County Executive. Jennifer Bertino Tarrant has dedicated her life to education as well as advocacy and public service. And it looks like Jennifer Bertino Tarrant has brought out a nice crowd of supporters. And I'm sure she's in that crowd somewhere. We'll have to watch for her. They got uh, Frosty with him as well. Maybe that's Jennifer Bertina Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Here she comes, yeah, coming she down yeah. in the white T-shirt. There's Senator Bertino Tarrant, who's running for Will County Executive. She's got a nice what group. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Jennifer Bertino Tarrant. And then we've got more elected officials coming behind. I can't see that number. Can you see that yep, number? Yep, it's Natalie Coleman, candidate oh. for County Board District 10. Okay, so there's a whole group there. Yeah, and uh, Will Nat County Board Speaker Denise Winfrey, County Board Member Herbert Brooks Jr., and Natalie Coleman. She's the candidate for County Board District 10. Well, you know, it, we are just a few days, weeks, months away from all that activity. Well, if I can just say it also, uh, we have Denise Winfrey in this uh, thing. And Denise Winfrey <laughs> is the first female Will County Board 
president. So welcome to Denise Winfrey, first female Will County president. Glad to see her. And she's also with Natalie Coleman. And Way also we've go. got uh, the Nick Palmer folks are here for uh, Will County Executive. Nick Palmer is a longtime chief of staff for current Will County Executive Larry Walsh. As the next uh, county executive, he will fight for the working men and women of Will County and wishes everyone a happy holiday season. He has quite an interesting logo there. A P yeah. Because he's a runner. Yeah. Oh, that's Welcome, right. yeah. Nick Palmer. He's got a nice crowd here. Good group of supporters, Nick. Remember working with Nick when I was at the city. It looks like we've got another balloon coming up. Advanced Family Dental. We are pleased to offer United Family Dental because they offer the latest in general and cosmetic dentistry as well as orthodontics, periodontics, and preventative dental care. Their doctors are proud to serve Illinois with convenient access to modern dentistry for residents in the Joliet area and beyond. Welcome, Advanced Family Dental. And I think we're getting a little close to the Santa float coming. Yeah. I think so. Because these guys, well, I'll wait till they get a little closer. See that plow? How can you not see that plow? See it that looks plow? Like it's ready. <laughs> it's ready for when the snow comes. Yeah, yeah. The city of Joliet Public Works. Look at that. And you know what they're doing? They're showing off their blade. <laughs> they're clearing the way for Santa. Oh. They're clearing the path for Santa. And I'm glad they're not cleaning some snow off today, but <laughs> that looks that looks like a, a new truck. Beautiful. Yeah. Glad to have good trucks <laughs> yeah, in Joliet sure. cleaning the roads. But coming up right after that truck, though, is the star band of this parade and has been for all these years. Ladies and gentlemen, the Joliet American Legion Band is an all-volunteer, award-winning nonprofit organization dedicated to providing an excellent musical experience for loyal, loyal audiences way back to 1946. Comprised of a variety of musicians, the band carries a unique sound similar to the disciplined tradition of John Philip Sousa, the Joliet American Legion Band. doesn't it? It sure does. Well, next we have First Secure Community Bank of Joliet. It says, don't be a Grinch, bank with First Secure Community Bank of Joliet. They have a full-size Grinch along with their monster CD rate mascot on the float. And there they are. <laughs> First Secure Community Bank is part of the nine bank First Secure Bank Thank Group you. owned by longtime Joliet residents Jay and Lori Bergman. So who do you think's in the Grinch costume? <laughs> I had no idea. Or in the big monster <laughs> CD rate outfit. Yeah. Well, they are the proud sponsors today of, of someone very special. Yeah. Yes. So we're very happy to have First Secure Community Bank for the first time be the big sponsor. And uh, here's the best part of the parade for everyone as Santa Claus is coming. Well, oh, this is a plow. This is the, the city right before Santa's, um, I think if I can see it correctly, that the lights there? Yeah. Is that, I think that's public works. Is that the public works again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, this is a special one for them. 
and, and is sponsored, of course, by First, Secu uh, First Secure Community Bank, one of my banks we go to. I'm looking forward to their big party they're going to have here in a, in a little bit down there. Joliet's locally owned, locally managed community bank. First Secure Bank is a proud sponsor of Santa Claus this year. Proud to be Joliet's premier community bank. Their motto is, we're not just your bank, we're your neighbor. And there it is. See, you see, clearing a path for Santa as public works. And, and the Herald News is sponsoring our Santa yeah. balloon this year. That's right. Thank you, Herald News. Yep. And now, as soon as that, Trip Tiber and company hauling this Santa. <laughs> That's I think, great. I think I see him coming. Yep, yep, because the crowd is behind him. And soon, there's the Santa balloon, but now here's the real McCoy coming up. All right, look at the fireworks. The fireworks. Santa has arrived. Isn't he a great Santa? I'll tell you, you can't beat that Santa. He's awesome. Yeah. We're lucky to have him. All the kids making their list for what they want from Santa Welcome Claus for Santa. Christmas. Hi, Santa. Thank you, Santa. Thank you to First Secure Community Bank for sponsoring Santa Claus. Look at those fireworks. We're definitely lighting up the holidays, aren't we? People love the fireworks. They love Santa. This is the beginning. This is the start of the season. This is it now. Light up the holiday parade. And uh, the City Center Partnership kind of produces this whole thing. And they're committed to making sure that the downtown area remains a place that residents and tourists alike can come and enjoy themselves and create everlasting memories with friends, family, and business partners. And Don, thank you again for uh, St. Francis. Lisa, thank you for First Secure Community Bank. A special thank you to our volunteers, the Exchange Club of Joliet, Gospel Life Church, and the City of Joliet. And thanks especially to JCTV for broadcasting tonight's parade, and Rendell's for providing our stage here tonight. Are you going to come back and visit me uh, again next year? Well, if I'm invited, I hope so. You're invited. Yeah. Thank Lisa, you. you're invited. Glad to be here. Well, you're recruited, I should Thank say. You. I don't know about invited, but you're These recruited. These fireworks are gorgeous. They are. The city of Joliet, the CCP. The great guy that does, does that. Does a great job. I was up And look at the faces of everybody Oh, yeah, them. they love it. They love it. And a wonderful, beautiful parade like this, so close to home, right here in Joliet. You don't have to run to Chicago to see a great parade. Right here in your hometown. And we had warmer weather than Chicago. Yes, no wind. <laughs> no Be wind. Beautiful night. Look at the nice green and red festive Christmas. Goodbye Thanksgiving and we're on to Christmas. We had a great uh, weather for Thanksgiving. We had great weather for this parade. I think he gathers up all the fireworks that he did not use <laughs> through the summer and he, they put it all in this parade. Well, it's Why? a great show for everybody. Why not? Well, I guess it's uh, Merry Christmas to everybody from uh, yours truly and Lisa. It's great to be here again great with you, Dick. Great to have you and here. Richard. And Don, Don thanks thank so much. You. Thank you, Richard. Good night, everybody, and have a great, wonderful Christmas. And Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Merry and Christmas, happy everyone. happy holidays to all.